Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dan from Access Analog, and today we're going to go through another feature of the version 7 plugin we just released. This feature we call Internet Optimized, and let me walk through it. I think it's pretty straightforward. Right now I'm playing a track. You can hear it's just a simple dual sine wave test tone. And I'm playing it in the mode that most people will use our plugin, meaning they're playing in real-time mode. So they've set their buffer, they've set their transmit format, they're streaming audio. What this means is the audio is going from their DAW to our plugin over the internet to our server, which then goes to the actual piece of gear, then back from the piece of gear from our server back to this plugin and back to your DAW so you can hear it. Many people use the system this way. However, we've added a new feature, which I'll show on this page. So let me turn that off. And it's spe specific to this feature audio source, this the ability to change this. So I'm going to stop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file. I've got uh, one of the files that I've uploaded to cloud storage. If you're not familiar with our cloud for storage, in short, we've given every user individual cloud storage so they can upload their files, keep their files there, and then those files can be recalled. That is all explained in detail in the enhanced offline video, so I would encourage you to watch that if you haven't. But I just loaded this file into the server, so that's in the server's RAM, and now you'll see this audio source went to server files. So when I play, I'm getting something completely different. So to go back again, I'm going to stop. I'm going to set this to DAW, you play, tone, stop, set this to server files, play, now I'm playing from his. All right, so I think you understand that. Now the question is, why in the world would I ever want to do that? Well, the reason is because of this. The internet is set up in a way that is asymmetric, meaning that the download, somebody's server, to you is much faster than the upload, which is you to their server. So what we're trying to do with Access Analog in this plugin is to take advantage of that asymmetry and let you load up files in advance into the cloud and then put them on the server in the memory and then play them from the memory there so that you can take advantage of that. And hopefully what this will allow is for people that have issues running uh, in real time on the internet where maybe their service provider has a lot of glitches, a lot of, of bursts where there's no uh, internet going, or maybe it's just slow. Uh, we've noticed coming from Europe to the United States, there's certain periods where that trunk is just very slow and it makes it hard to stream in real time. So we're really hopeful that this feature will help clients to be able to take advantage of that asymmetry. Now, I want to mention one thing before I move on to a next feature, which is this playhead down here. What this allows you to do when you're in server files mode, it allows you to essentially have your own little mini DAW. The DAW is con still controlled by the play and the stop, but you can decide where you want the playhead for the server files to start from. So I, could, I can move this around. And the idea is that it gives you control so that you can more quickly set up your gear to a specific area on the track. So it allows you to move it around. Again, just to summarize, this is the playhead. Still, you use the play and the stop to control it, but it allows you to move things around. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and I'm going to reconfigure my DAW so that I can explain another important feature associated with this, which is called sync to server. All right, I've reconfigured my DAW and now I can explain another two important points about how to use this feature. The first one is this. What I recommend to people is that when they want to use this server files or your audio sources coming from the server files, just take a project, create an empty track, put our plugin on the track, and then load your file into the server and then you can play just like we showed in the first part of this video. Now there is one exception to that. If you use Logic, 
Logic has to have some audio here on this track, otherwise it doesn't understand how to play and it will and you will get silence, unfortunately. So if you use Logic, you gotta put some audio here. But once, for most people, once they lay down a track, it can be blank, then you can do the playback just like we discussed and showed in the previous step. All right, that's the first part. Now I need to show you something, sync to server and what that means. All right, I've got two tracks here. And on the first track, as I mentioned, I, it's blank. And I have my clip one wave file loaded in the server RAM. On the second track, I have the clip one, the exact same audio file, but it's loaded in the DAW. I'm going to unmute it here. Now, when I play back, what you would expect is that they would both play and you would hear exactly the same audio, meaning clip one is coming from the server, clip one here is coming from the DAW and they're lined up. But if you listen very closely, you'll hear they're wildly out of phase. Did you hear that? It really sounds bad. They are out of phase by exactly half of this value, 1.25. The reason is that when we're playing from the server, we still have to go over the internet, at least half of this buffer size. So this track starts at zero time. This one doesn't start until 1.25 seconds later. So they're out of phase. So how do you fix that? Well, that's what this magic checkbox does here. If and only if you're going to put our plugin on a track where you have other tracks and you want to sync our audio with the other tracks, then what you want to do is check that box and then we compensate for this 1.25 second delay here by pre-sending and then you'll see, you'll hear. Hopefully you can hear that easily. Now they're perfectly in phase. So to summarize, when you're running on a standalone track, if it's just you, maybe you're on a master bus, there's just one track, don't worry about the sync to server. There's nothing to sync with. However, if our plugin is on one of the tracks within multiple tracks in a project, then you're gonna to wanna to check this box in order to make sure we stay in sync with the other tracks. Now I realize that's a little bit of a hard concept. If there's any questions that you have about that, hit us up on the Access Analog Support Chat. We'll be happy to go through it. But it really helps in that way you can still get the advantage of the internet optimized where you're playing from the server, but doing it where you're still synced to all the other tracks. We really hope you like this feature. We've worked really hard on it.